I check our hardware looking for news for my news videos on PC hardware, all of that, and today I found this instead. I thought this was very interesting. Also, the purpose of the post was, I guess I'm just posting this for visibility in case any NVIDIA employees browse this sub. So I thought I would amplify this both in case it helps this issue get patched and in case any of you are experiencing the problem, uh, which is apparently fixable by modifying literally one byte of data. So what is the problem? What's going on here? How do we fix it? Well, uh, this poster is referencing an issue that they just ran into again. Uh, after having originally encountered it t uh, in 2020, and the original 2020 fix uh, was posted as fixing a three plus year old bug in the NVIDIA GeForce uh, experience. So to be clear, the issue here uh, has to do with displays not sleeping properly when you have a joystick plugged in. Now, luckily, uh, back in 2020, uh, the, the author of this blog, and I will link all these sources to, to the Reddit post and this blog in the description, uh, was able to have the technical knowledge and the time and everything to track down exactly what was happening and has apparently reported this to NVIDIA, but it has not been fixed despite literally being changing one byte of data. So what is it? Well, it looks like the original problem was uh, he was trying out Microsoft Flight Simulator, plugged in a joystick, great, uh, you know, turned off the game, the game wasn't running, uh, leaves, comes back, notices that his computer has not gone to sleep properly. Now, there's a lot of uh, programs that can stop your computer from sleeping, but his computer should have been sleeping and basically was able to narrow down some problems if uh, the joystick was not plugged in computer would sleep properly after the set amount of time. If uh, the joystick was plugged in, but GeForce Experience was uninstalled, it would sleep properly. So it was not just the joystick's fault. There was some other issue. Apparently he went on a little Google search journey and did figure out that this was an issue not just with joysticks or this joystick in particular, but with the interaction between GeForce Experience and the joystick. Now, um, the author of this blog post was then able to actually do a bunch of very interesting detective work. I actually find this a very interesting read if you have the time and the interest uh, for how he started figuring out, okay, so what is what what is actually pulling the the input? What is causing this to not sleep? There's a lot of great write-up here that I'm just not sure I need to get into all the technical details of for the purposes of this exact video. So basically it was getting into the fact that for some reason, Nvidia Share, which is part of your GeForce Experience over, uh, overlay, by the way, GeForce Experience can be um, installed separately from the just the GPU driver, so you could separate those out. Um, but GeForce Experience is, is like, if you hit like, I think the default is Alt-Z, it pulls up that overlay, you can sh record gameplay, you can share, uh, you can monitor performance, does a lot of things. Uh, but apparently it's also pulling some raw input data for some reason. And now he was uh, digging through the details of what exactly is it pulling, why is it pulling it, and then was able to replicate the issue. So the issue is that apparently enabling raw input for joysticks causes devices to prevent the system from becoming idle and thus sleeping. Now. Uh, the author here does feel like Microsoft should clean up their documentation of how this works uh, because it's possible that developers are unaware that by pulling raw input for joysticks, they are causing their device, uh, the, the device to be unable to sleep now. So make that clear in the uh, documentation. And the, he also thinks that an application requesting raw input should show up in the uh, power config requests in WPA. Anyway, uh, so if you uh, keep going here, he was noticing that, well, it's not NVIDIA, it's share, NVIDIA Share itself asking for raw input from the joysticks, at least not directly. So NVIDIA Share is partially built on CEF, which is Chromium Embedded Framework. And Chromium Embedded Framework is apparently pulling the raw input request as part of its gamepad driver, which does make sense. And so that's what's pulling this data that is causing the PC to be unable to sleep. 
Now, um, what he's basically saying is after realizing all of that, you literally could just open, <laughs> uh, open it up and change one byte of data from 0x04 to 0x06, which just means instead of trying to get raw input from joysticks, they get it from the keyboard instead. And he also says he's not sure why the NVIDIA overlay was asking for raw joystick input from Chromium in the first place. So he says it, it took him two days to figure that out, but it was literally just changing one byte of data but hey, at least now the computer can sleep. He also wrote a PowerShell script and there was a post um, at this time on um, our hardware two years ago uh, explaining this issue with the step-by-step the -step, uh, fix. So basically, uh, you disable GeForce Experience Overlay while you apply the patch. You open the PowerShell as an administrator, which you uh, need to be able to write to GFE's directory. You hold Win plus R, type PowerShell, and press Control Shift plus Enter, or hit the Start menu, begin typing PowerShell. Right click on Windows PowerShell and click Run at Administrator. And then he has a script here that you could run uh, that then does that modification for you. Now, uh, again, he uh, points back to the blog post there explaining why it was that bit. Now, um, I believe he tried to keep patching the script uh, uh, up, up to date for a while, but I'm not sure this is still being uh, kept up to date or actively monitored, which is why it would be very nice if NVIDIA could actually just solve this problem. So again, the issue just seems to be uh, with one byte of data, not even with anything that uh, GeForce Experience is actually doing, it's just for the, uh, <laughs> the Chromium embedded framework uh, that it's uh, partially built on. So with that one fix, displays would finally be able to sleep. Now, um, again, this isn't the biggest problem in the world. I'm not trying to say that this is some kind of huge disaster, NVIDIA must fix, don't buy an NVIDIA GPU. But it, it, it does seem like such an annoying bug for people who want to have a, you know, a joystick plugged in and have their computer still be able to sleep without having to unplug the joystick or not run GeForce Experience at all. Uh, <laughs> that seems like a no-brainer thing for NVIDIA to fix, and maybe they just need to notice the issue, which again is why the uh, poster who posted the uh, 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 three days ago on our hardware that I noticed was just trying to do. It was just trying to post for some visibility in case, in case any NVIDIA employees browse the sub. Well, I'm not an NVIDIA employee, but I did try to shine my light on this issue, so maybe it gets picked up by NVIDIA for a patch, but also if any of you have found that your display has not been sleeping as it should, and you have a joystick plugged in, and you're running an NVIDIA GPU, uh, this perhaps could solve your problem. Now, it's also possible it doesn't, because I believe there are other programs that could actually have this same issue, um, uh, or similar issues, again, related to the fact that, um, as he pointed out, uh, Microsoft could make it clear in their documentation that enabling raw input for joysticks causes devices to prevent the system from becoming idle. Now, on that note, though, I did just notice right before filming this video a comment, the most recent comment on this blog post saying, update Microsoft has fixed this issue in the latest optional update, KB5022360, uh, which says this update addresses an issue that affects some game controllers. When the game controller is connected to the computer, the computer might not go to sleep mode. And uh, this commenter at least says he updated his copy of Windows 11, and now finally after many years, monitors turn off as they should. Now, I have not, I noticed this right before filming this morning, so I have not had time to uh, confirm that, uh, that that solves the issue completely for everybody myself. However, uh, as it's an optional update, perhaps now this may be the way to go here, and maybe this won't be as big of an issue moving forward, but in the meantime, if your display hasn't been sleeping, it could actually be related to you having a joystick plugged in. I hope all of you have an excellent day.